In issue 208 of Wood Magazine, we featured this little keepsake box that required us to cut a series of thin strips, each 1 16th inch thicker than the previous one. Now to safely cut thin strips, you need to take into account a few extra setup and safety requirements. You can't just drop your table saw at 1 16th inch and expect to cut those strips safely. You'll get some explosive kickback there. I'm going to show you two methods to safely rip thin strips, in this case just 1 16th of an inch. Then I'll show you how we take a stack of 16th inch strips and use them to make the progressively wider cuts used in our keepsake box. First thing we're going to do is create a set of 16th inch thin strip gauges and we're going to cut those all off of this one board and the way we do that is we set our fence to a known size. In this case we're going to use about two and a half inches and you want to get dial this in as accurately as you can. Get it right on the right on the needle there. And then the next step is we're going to uh, bump this over to slice a 16th inch strip off of the off cut side here. And so to do that, we bump it over a 16th plus the kerf of our blade. And because I'm using a full kerf, eighth inch blade, we're gonna bump this over uh, three 16ths. There you have a 16th inch strip. And we can check this, the accuracy of this if you want. And that's pretty close. Uh, if you need to make adjustments, go ahead and try again. You got plenty of board here. And then the next step is to just cross cut this up into uh, smaller strips. In our case, for our incremented pattern, we need eight. Okay, now I've ripped my uh, 16th inch strip into eight different gauges and we know they are pretty accurate because a stack of them is coming out 2.5. Now to set up to rip the thin strips we're going to lower our blade, move our fence onto the left side Raise our blade back up, just so. And then we're going to uh, take our thin strips and a stop block and use these to set our fence. Now, if we just wanted to repeatedly rip, uh, say, 16th inch strips, we'd use one of our strips, bring the stop block up to it, get it tight, but not so tight that it flexes the blade. I want a little, a little play in there. Okay, and now we're going to pull the stop block back behind the blade, so uh, we're not getting our our part pinched. And then we're going to tape that in place against the fence. Now we're going to move our fence back into place. And simply position that against the fence and against the stop block here. And there's one 16th inch strip. And then you just simply repeat that process. Uh, blank against the stop block, fence against the blank, and make as many 16th inch strips as you need.
Now, if you want to do the progressively uh, larger thin strips, uh, increasing in size by 1 16th each time, the wing gay as it goes this way, the maple as it goes this way, um, that's where you can use all eight of your uh, thin gauges. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, once again, we're going to start with the fence on the left side of the blade. Uh, we are going to sandwich, this time we're going to sandwich all eight strips between the blade and the stop block. Make sure the teeth are engaged with those. And then slide the fence against that and get it snug, but not so snug that the blade flexes, like so. Now again, we're going to tape that stop block down. Move our fence to the opposite side. And this time, we're going to take our, blank, our, our gauges, eliminate one, so you have seven. Sandwich those between the blank and the stop block, and then move your fence up to that so that's snug. And remove your gauge blocks. And now your fence is set to cut a 16th inch strip. For your next cut, you use only six, six of the gauges. And now you're set up for an eighth inch cut. Five for a three sixteenths inch cut. Four strips for a quarter inch cut. Or a three strips inch cut. Or a five sixteenth inch cut. Two strips for a three eighth inch cut. One strip for a seven sixteenth inch cut. And finally, zero strips for a half inch cut. Then to do the maple strips, you just repeat the process from the beginning. And there you have thin strips cut safely on the table saw, and our blank is ready for a glue up.